Affordability and availability of data services remains a critical issue in some parts of the country. This has pushed some of the citizens who reside near the country's borders to opt for foreign telecom company services. <laughs> That is the, the work of uh, the, this department. Uh, of course, he showed us the status of uh, our network deployment. And of course, we are not uh, uh, happy because we would want uh, all, all areas to be covered. But that can only happen as we go because resources are Cortes has been pushing to resource underserved provinces and ensure equitable distribution of community information centers, ICT gadgets, and internet connectivity. However, limitation has been on support infrastructure. Yeah, I think the first thing is we need to get the information out there. Uh, after this meeting, I realized there's a lot that Portus has been doing that personally even I, as a member of parliament, were not even aware of. So people first need to understand uh, the programs, the various programs that Portus are doing, the good work actually that they are doing. Then we can have those awareness campaigns on where Portus can assist them, you know, the cyber threats. As technology evolves, consumers require policies, regulations and frameworks that will bring sustainable solutions. This must also bring safety to all internet users. Portress came up with the Data Protection Act to regulate cyber offences. We have come up with a comprehensive guideline on what is a data breach. At what point do you report? Is it on suspicion on, on, on it actually happening? What do you put in the notification? The categories of data that have been made, etc. So this guideline, once our board processes go through this quarter, is actually going to be published by the authority as one of the gui five guidelines that we have come up with to guide industry in public sectors. Dr. Machengeta says it is also imperative to increase education and awareness. This, I think, is something that is so, so important because uh, this is where we were talking about the Malaysians. The Malaysians may not know that now they can actually apply for a license and their license is very cheap. The license fees are so low that uh, there is no point in risking getting arrested when, when you could actually be operating um, a, a legal. It's clear that collaboration across multiple sectors is crucial for achieving inclusive connectivity in a technology-driven Zimbabwe. These legislators are showing the will and what they need is the support. For ZTM Prime, I am Sitashi Siwekwaza in Kariba. Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo Pazetien Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.